Entry 393 was 12th. Entry 394 was 10th and 1st Junior. Enrolled Farms Checkers Atta, exhibited by Fenton Brothers and Jodries of Winchester, Ohio. 395 was 4th. 396 was 9th. 397 was 6th. Entry 398 was 5th. Entry 400 was 13th. Entry 401 was the winning entry and first bred and known, Covey p and Poker Gem, exhibited by Cruz and Noah Warden of Dyersville, Iowa. Entry 403 was 8th. Entry 404 was 11th and 2nd Junior, Onward Poker Angie, exhibited by p and Airshers and Cruises of Dyersville, Iowa. And entry 2931 was 14th. The class now in the ring are the Spring Yearling Heifers. First place award presented by Bob Kaiser, UW Extension of Juneau, Wisconsin. The Junior Award is presented by Maplecrest Farm, Steve Schneider, Lomira, Wisconsin. Placings are complete in the Ayrshire Spring Yearling Heifer class. We'd like the following juniors to please step forward to be recognized. Placing second junior, entry 411, Onward Wilton April, exhibited by Tom, Sarah, Caleb, Cole, and Carter Cruz of Dyersville, Iowa. First place junior, entry 422, Geminecho Jupiter Millie, exhibited by Ashley Havermail of Wooster, Ohio. Placing third in the class, entry 411, Onward Wilton April, Exhibited by Tom, Sarah, Caleb, Cole, and Carter Cruz of Dyersville, Iowa. 
Placing second in the class and first bred known, entry 418, Mowry's Remington Precision, exhibited by Jordan Helsley of Warring Spring, Pennsylvania. And your winning entry, entry 422, Geminecco Jupiter Millie, exhibited by Ashley Havermail of Worcester, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Well, another real nice class here in our Ayrshire ring, and uh, just two really balanced heifers to come right to the top of the class. Not the biggest heifers, not the tallest heifers, but uh, when the first heifer comes out here, she's so correct. She's beautifully balanced. She's got that uphill run. She's dairy and clean for men to end. She's a heifer that tracks out quite nicely on her hind legs and just has over that overall style for me to come right to the front today. And then we're going to follow her with a very similar heifer here in second. The heifer in second, uh, again, not the largest heifer, but a heifer that's so balanced when she's out on the move. She moves out so correctly on her hind legs. I prefer to set the flex to the hock the way she tracks when she's on the move over the real streamlined heifer here in third. The young man with the heifer in third, again, not the largest heifer in her either, but the heifer that's got that nice uphill run. She's level from hooks to pins. She's a little fuller through the crops region, just a little more dairy style the whole way through than the big heifer we have here in fourth. Heifer in fourth, a bit of a problem. Heifer four is a heifer you love the size and scale to her, but when you get her out on the move, I'd like to see her keep her legs out behind her a little more, just place them a little more correctly as she's moving. Just be a little fuller up through the front end to get over the heifers above her, but she uses that advantage and overall blending the parts over a real dairy heifer coming in fifth. Heifer in fifth, a heifer you really admire, that style that she has. A heifer you'd like to change the way she's moving on her hind legs today to get her up higher, but she uses that advantage and her cleanliness the whole way through over another real well-balanced heifer here in sixth. 